Arm bars and choke holds, these are some of the things women were taught to protect themselves if ever attacked. The very intense moves were provided to women at Southern Utah University. DJ Bolajak live there now. And DJ, this class sounds pretty intense. Shauna, it was a very intense, intense training that these women went through earlier today. They actually set us up at uh, Southern Utah University's ballroom. And uh, you guys, some of the moves that they showed us are pretty simple, but very effective. It probably looks intense and a bit painful. It's meant to be. The biggest thing is giving women specifically the education that there are different things that they can do. Boom. Sergeant First Class Matthew Rains is using muscle memory to teach these Southern Utah University students how to protect themselves against sexual assault. It's just situational techniques that can help them escape and increase their chances of surviving a dangerous situation. Because you got a type A aggressive personality. Danny Brady has never been faced with that before, but she's here today to prevent. I'm walking home in the dark every night. It felt good? You just. You get a little bit worried, check behind your shoulder, because you never know. According to the National Sexual Violence Resource Center, one in five women and one in 16 men are likely to be sexually assaulted in college. Now, some of these moves could seem very complicated, but with enough practice, you can make your attacker really regret it. Okay. This move is called the crossed color choke. It's shutting off all the blood supply going to his brain. Causing the attacker to pass out. The fact that you can take him out in just a couple of seconds, that's... Shirt. Yeah, their own shirt. That's crazy. It's one of many moves that Danny learned in training. To one, empower themselves, and two, to protect themselves. Oh, I just think it's important that we all learn how to, how to take care of ourselves, everybody. Now, there were multiple classes held here at SUU today uh, for this type of training. One of those classes, from what I'm told, had over 30 people attend, including some, some major uh, uh, administrators here at SUU. Now, if you need help or do you want to find out some more information about this sort of training, go to our website at KUTV.com. Back to you.